it's time to get busy on the rover here and I'm going to start by uh, removing this entire outer uh, sill. So that runs the entire length of the bottom of the car. It's pretty poor up here. It's not bad. The rest of it's pretty decent but most of the damage is on the back side of it. So uh, I think in the interest of making this an easier job, I'm going to drill out all these. And I'm going to kind of section it around here because I'd prefer to leave the post intact. It'll mean a little bit of butt welding through here, come across there, and back up and carry on. The, uh, the B post is uh, pretty extensively welded to here. And uh, for the sake of uh, 10 inches of butt welding, I don't think that I want to have to pull all this out and then go through all the realignment process. So. That will save a few minutes, just a lot of drilling here, and I may again section it at the back so we don't have to mess with the door jam too much. Here's something you don't see much on a modern car, as in never. The actual seams in the jams here and here are leaded, just so there would not be any kind of visible join there. And you can see it over the years, it has pulled away a bit, but that's the kind of detail. See, there's even some lead still sticking up here. This is the kind of uh, detail that is just not present in modern cars. Of course, in a modern car, the entire side of the car is one piece, and here we have one that's built out of probably a dozen pieces. So, anyhow, uh, also in the interest of not having to deal with all this lead, I may stay just a little bit further away from this because, of course, lead, pain in the ass. I'm going to start by center punching all of these welds. There's quite a few. They look to be about every inch, inch and a quarter. That's not bad. If uh, I've done this type of work on a, like an E-type Jag and they're literally, they're almost touching each other, there's so many. So this is not too bad and uh, we'll do that there section around the posts and then spot drill out all the spots on the bottom flange which we can see here so same thing every inch or so down there i'm uh, just gonna settle in here with my center punch and uh, and my drill and we're gonna take all these apart and then uh, we'll see if we can pop this rocker off and see what we're actually up against and the rocker can be repaired on a bench and welded back on when everything else is finished rather than trying to patch little pieces in and, and it's just going to be a pain in the ass. So we'll take the whole thing off and then we'll see where we're at. Okay, let's see what we've got. We got lucky that the, the weld stop here and this is just pinched on. I'm taking this whole rocker with me and I'm cutting it at the original. So I'm saving this is now a half inch too short. That'll have to be replaced anyway. There's some rust here. So I'm avoiding the lead, taking part of the door jam here, and we'll have to repair that. Uh, along the factory welds here, going around the lead and the post again, because this is fine. And then along here, all the original welds out. You know, it makes a bit of a mess, but this all straightens up. And now we can see, I have not looked. Let's have a look. Uh-oh, is it stuck? Hang on. Okay. Hmm. Actually better than I expected. Nevertheless, uh, most of this will be going away. And, uh, yeah, so... This panel starts here, and it carries on all the way through. Fairly simple piece to make. Terminates back here, and we're still pretty good here. Uh, this all could be a lot worse. So, you can see, you know, it's all right. Uh, plenty there to make a pattern, and uh, we may, We'll see, I may end up taking the post away and sliding the new piece down, which is also fine. Just now we have a better idea what we're dealing with. We can fix the A post now, 
I think the A-post actually, I think the A-post actually goes like this for some length here, and it's all just missing. Anyhow, uh, a little bang on it, come back and have a look. We've got the, uh, we've got the rocker panel uh, drilled out and uh, trimmed here, so let's just take a quick look underneath. One thing that is kind of, I don't know, I find it useful to uh, take the piece, even if you're not reusing it, and straighten it up as soon as you get it off, because they always get a little bit of distortion when you're cutting them off, because you got to chisel and, you know, a certain amount of screwing around. So, I went back and very lightly straightened the flanges up here just so that it would be a little easier to keep refitting as we rebuild it. disappointment is that in fact this is all garbage even though it looks okay I was hoping to save all this and just repair the front bit there but in fact I can poke a screwdriver through this pretty much anywhere so uh, that is a pretty serious reconstruction job because uh, this is a radius there and it, you can see that it curves that way and that way. It's not really as straightforward as it first looks because there is a certain amount of curvature there that has to be maintained or the doors will not sit nice against it. A little more involved repair than I first thought, but uh, that's fine. It wouldn't be the first time that that's happened. And um, I'm not sure exactly how we're going to do it. We'll just, uh, one way or another, it'll be new when we're finished. So that's where we're going to leave the rover for this week. Thought it would be fun to at least see uh, the inside of the gruesome uh, areas here. And uh, of course with the holidays and such, uh, Al's been pretty busy with family, so we're uh, going to let him slide this week. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so stay tuned for lots of fab work coming up on this guy. We're at the gym estate here. Thought it might be fun to see if he uh, has a minute to spare. They would take that Jeep for a drive, because I've not driven it. Hey boss. How's it going? Good, good. Wow, look what you bought here. Uh, it's a uh, 1947 Caterpillar uh, D2. D2? Yeah, the smallest of the D series. An auction or what? Yeah, 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 at the auction. You gotta stop going to those. Yeah, no, well, it's online, so you don't even have to go anywhere. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I guess which cylinder was the well, real it doesn't... lousy one. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so that was full of rust or what? Uh, well, when I got it, I took the exhaust manifold off and. Yeah. Uh, Somebody had filled it full of diesel, but that had to have been over 10 to 20 years ago. Right. Like it was, the diesel had gone bad. Oh, okay. Yeah, so it was just full of like a sludgy right. concoction. Right, Okay, so it had rusted many years ago and seized and somebody had filled it up and then walked away from it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, interesting. Wow, look at how heavy duty this well, is. Well, everything's very wow, professional. Wow, yeah. That is cool. Looks right at home in here on your nice new pad, hey? Yeah, no, it's wow. a nice size. A What's room. the deal with this? Oh, Matt was uh, head of his parents and they were going to throw it out. And I, uh, so I take it. So It's 1950s uh, fireplace facade. That's hilarious. Nothing about it is real. This is a plywood <laughs> shell. Yeah, These logs is just fake good. bricks with fake logs yeah. and a fake uh, well, the granite The bricks top. aren't even bricks. This is just plywood. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's so impressive how fake everything is. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and it has the rotating light bulbs. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's sweet. Fake yeah. sliced rocks, like everything. I was really impressed. Is a serious eminence front. <laughs> <laughs> What's the plan here? Is it she'll go though? Everything oh. else seems okay. Yeah. I as much as I can tell by uh, doing nothing. <laughs> <laughs> and do these have any kind of?
pre warmer system motor? No, nothing. Well, this oh, this there's little a pup guy motor. Is here. Yeah, the pup motor. Right. And okay. his exhaust runs through the intake on it, and it okay, shares so coolant with it too. So. Okay, so if you leave the pup motor running, yeah, and yeah, it runs on gasoline. Motor. Just okay. cooling over, keeping yeah. the big motor over, and that's where, uh, And eventually she starts. Oh, yeah, it has a I guess. Very Look cool. at that, eh? Yeah, all punched out steel. Yeah, what a piece. Yeah, that was because this is accessory, sort of uh, the dozer. It would have just been a, a regular cat. This is optional or whatever. So okay. So. Wow, yeah, look yeah, at so the welds on that, eh? Oh, yeah, no, it's a pretty serious piece of hardware. Yeah, no kidding. Oh, nice piece. Well, you're the right owner for this. I can oh, say that yeah, for sure. Right. Yeah. The guy who didn't have enough junk. Here's the boat seat. Oh, okay. Yeah. Maybe. So you yeah. have the option of either reupholstering this or putting the correct seat in. Right. So see what, uh, what I decide so, to do. Five speed. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, pulling gears. <laughs> Wow, is this the fuel at the back? Must yeah, be. Yeah, yeah, this is your fuel fuel cell, I guess. Yeah. Okay. It's got a few few dents in it that need to be uh, pulled, ignored. Pushed out or... Is that the flywheel to the pup motor? Yeah, yeah, because the pup motor's got an electric start, but it's also you could put a rope around it if you're oh, really if hard you're in times. Hard times. So okay. Swiped your battery or yeah, whatever. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Because so, it's just got right, a magneto on this it. So. Whistling along. So, and what's under here? Oh, these those are the steering clutches. Oh, so it just breaks yeah. power to one track. So you just pull this back, and then it uh, has a clutch pack yeah, there. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. An amazing so, piece. Oh, they're very interesting. Yeah. So uh, I take it it was a bit of a bargain. Ah, uh, sort of. Yeah. Well, I guess. Bargain uh, enough. Wanted the hydraulic uh, seems fair, hey? Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, it should. Uh, That'll all come around. Yeah. What a it nice thing. Come along. Yeah. No, it's pretty straight, complete, and. Uh, Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, I think it'll be handy. Pushing. Pulling. Parts are available? Oh, yeah. I actually went today to Caterpillar themselves to get uh, these little rubbers here. It's pretty ingenious. They, uh, oh, yeah. All the water passages are just sealed with these uh, yeah. little things with the w rubber washers. And because, uh, yeah, the plan is now just to you know, paint that head gasket that came yeah. off of it because yeah. it doesn't seem terrible. Yeah. And then try and run it and see, like, if it's, uh, if there's other problems with it, or perhaps if that piston is no good, or if the yeah, valve yeah. is... See if and anything else... The injection itself. system is... Yeah, if everything works. Yeah. So if okay. If it proves itself, then it'll get some... More bits. Put a proper head gasket in it. Yeah. Because it's not too bad to do. But, uh, yeah, this is a whole other animal, these things. Holy cow. Yeah, it's no bigger than a car, though. Actually, it's smaller than that Continental, so it's kind of <laughs> nice. Yeah, it's probably, the Continental's marginally lighter than that. <laughs> I would suspect. What is this? Something like this must weigh 10,000 pounds. Yeah. Hi, Steph. Whoop. There's the cylinder head there. It wasn't perfect. Let's see here. I got a picture. Yeah, this was the before on the one valve here. My brother claimed that it came from the Titanic. Oh my god. Shaped himself up into a oh, serviceable yeah. valve. That's not More good. More or less, yeah. Yeah, yeah, but uh oh, and you did the fuel seats up and pulled those all apart. Yeah. Them up. They're uh, pretty and serviceable. They seem to be good, yeah. Yeah. Oh, they're extremely here. simple. So Conti update. Oh dear. <laughs> we can get that in the frame here. Holy <laughs> 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 Well, that's how she goes. So, what did we discover? Pretty much what we expected, right? Yeah, exactly. Kinked above the wheel expected, well. Oh, yeah. wow, look at that, eh? Oh, yeah. Was oh. that filled? It must yeah, have. Yeah, yeah, everything was all oh, filled out. Oh, uh, yeah, they filled that all. Yeah. Here, they were oh, able to tug it out here with their uh, yeah, the tool. Oh, yeah, <laughs> Yeah, this back part's pretty comically bad. Right, well, it's all pushed out here and then just, yeah. whoa. It's not good, eh? Look at that shit show. Yeah, but nope. it's solid, so that's good. Yeah, <laughs> it's not rusty. <laughs> yeah, good. Yeah. Well, nope. and you got, so there was virtually nothing here, and then just filled all yeah, the shit. That area is yeah, right, decent. Pretty, we can prep that wow. for final paint, and then yeah. just in here, this region <laughs> needs a little help. That's yeah, pretty crinkled, eh? 
<laughs> Man. You need like crazy. a three dimensional camera or something. Yeah, yeah. Show them. <laughs> there you go. Get <laughs> some lighting on there. Yeah, that's going to take some doing. Yeah. So well, the, I uh, guess uh, frame. To remove the quarter completely. I think so, yeah. Take it off and then at least it'll be easy to pound it back out. Yeah, shape. get a repair and yeah. pound patch. Yeah. And Somebody got that that far and went, yep, that's good enough. Oh, yeah. Pretty outrageous. Yep, yeah. There we go. But it didn't. <laughs> <laughs> right that's on. the standards of the day, yeah. Yeah, well, that's the thing. That's how these were repaired when they were worth 1500 bucks. Well, it's exactly what we figured. Yeah, no. Yeah. Uh, that's okay. Yeah, might as well. Where does it come off up here? Looks like yeah. a seam there. Yeah, it comes off there. <coughs> there. Yeah. There, down there, there. Yep. Yeah, I, I'm looking forward to it. I think it's going to be really fun and easy. Well, you saved the, you saved some good stuff for when it goes oh, back yeah. together. Oh, yeah. Yeah, templates for what the outside should look like. <laughs> oh, well. No, there's not know. much going on. Like, that's just skin yeah, it's just skin. It's yeah. just a drop. It's just... Yeah, it'll come off. It'll be much easier to work on when it's laying on the ground or on yeah. the bench. Good, and you have one good side to use for comparisons. So. Yeah. Anyway, whatever. There's nothing we can do. Yeah, no. <laughs> nothing you can do except fix it. Yeah. Well, nice to see the Mark II underway. Yeah, and that's the point where it had to start looking significantly worse before it would look better. Yeah, yeah. So. Well, it's all right. Uh, frame rack time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got a mat or something? The guy with the frame rack that we yeah. can uh, use. Good, that's awesome. So, after watching some YouTube frame pulling videos with yeah. trees and come alongs. I think we can really do something nice here. <laughs> yeah, if we could pull the that out with a tree and we can pull this out with you know an actual frame rack. Yeah, we tie it to that cat and just yank yeah. it. <laughs> My neighbor Mel did that with his Jeep. <laughs> he tied it one end of the Jeep to his big flat deck trailer and the other end of it he just pulled over with his cat. Oh that's all you need. And he just pulled the sway out of it. Man, look at how puckered up this is. Baby. Oh, we it's ferocious. Yeah, up, yeah. <laughs> it's just unbelievable. It's just <laughs> unbelievable. Ugh. Well, it'll come out. It'll, oh, yeah. all, it'll all fix. It'll just be that much more rewarding when it's fixed. Oh, yeah. But holy cow. Why did they leave that? Why? Well, the thing is, if they had pulled the frame, all of this would have popped out by itself. Yeah, like, you when you try to it. force the panel back into shape when it's it's yeah, the held the frame short. is an inch out right well it's not even short is it it's just down oh yeah down yeah that's messed up yeah, well that's cool happy yeah. to see it moving along but that's really the worst of it yeah no the rest of it the rest of it's decent. still a fairly the hood's very poor though but well one of the greatest cars of all time so really definitely well worth it i like this the factory lead work is still there. Oh yeah, yeah, yep. leaded in this yep. casting. Yeah, just the 56 cars and just the AC cars. Okay, yeah, interesting. Well, that's all pretty straightforward then. Yeah, well, <laughs> it's a matter of doing and it And the now. bumper itself is okay, so they must have replaced the bumper. Yeah, yeah, the bumper would have been their replacement. And it's really solid. Oh yeah. yeah. It looks... Like the body is closer to here than it is on that side. Uh, yeah, yeah. You can see this rail is bubbled up. Oh there. yeah, there was a kink in it there. Yeah. Sure. Okay. So it was hit. It must have been hit in the back pretty good. Yeah. And then it's accordion to that frame rail at the back. Is any of that messed up, or is it yeah, pretty this decent? Yeah, uh, it's been just beat out roughly. It's not even that bad though. Yeah. Good. And then even here is not. This absorbed a lot of energy right there. Yeah. The, well, yeah. And, and the rail. Yeah. I think oh. pull it with the quarter off. I would say to pull it with it on. And it'll and it'll it'll kind of help with the quarter as well. Although so much of that damage has been locked in there now, now by <laughs> doing all this, right? Like this is, doesn't want to relax anymore. Yeah, if they had pulled the frame anymore. first, it ain't gonna <laughs> relax now. No. Well, you got yourself all kinds of fun collision repair hobby going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, that's yeah, great. Luckily, that cat doesn't need any collision repair. <laughs> <laughs> more collision repair thing. Even it's 
check out the Carfax. What'd you get? Yeah, there's a Repop manual here. Oh, there you go. He's got all the goodies one. here, yeah. Frame, yeah. Good. So. Yeah, I think we'll find that it's, where do we see it's bent there? Yeah, right. And here. Yeah. So, yeah, excellent. Yeah, no, it's and good. And everything else, is this just body and frame or what? Oh, is it the whole Oh, workshop? the whole thing. Wow. It's actually really nice for, uh, like pulling the body apart, the windows, oh, yeah. the regulators, all that oh, good. crazy hocus yeah. pocus. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah oh, nice. just every specification you ever specs, want. Yeah. yeah. Service information. Yeah. Nut housings. Distributor yet again. Oh, yeah. Nice. Oh, it's a engine as well in there, or is that separate menu? Oh, yeah, menu? Engine, oh, yeah. engine everything, there as well. Yeah. Technical data. Huh. Have you looked into what it's like to get all these moldings off? That's what the book is for. Yeah, uh, good idea. Yeah. Yeah, and then there's another book that's like the the Bible to these things. And it's got some guy wrote it in the '70s. Mm-hmm. Tips and tricks. And oh yeah. So yeah, so we've got that too. Well, I can't wait. This is going to be the most epic car to drive. Like, oh, you man. need to drive this car. Yeah, a real driver's car. Yeah. It's so pleasant. <laughs> Even in its current lousy state, it's a very pleasant uh, driving car. Oh, yeah. No, just the view over the hood is just fantastic. Yeah, steering yeah. down. Yeah, and the sound and, oh, the steering, everything about it. It's yeah. just, you know, it's a monster, too. Yeah, God, it's big. It's big and awesome and heavy. They haven't made a vehicle that'll stop you yet. Uh, not quite. Not quite. This, could you, know, this could be it. <laughs> nah, you'll just get more determined to do it. <laughs> we'll see that next weekend then. Okay, you should have oh, it all yeah, buttoned up. Yeah. Well, let me know. I'd be happy to come. If that's something yeah, that you're going to do, um, if they're I'm allowed. Some tugging and pushing. Yeah, and have, have a little fun with it. all the tram gauges and all oh, the... Oh, good. Uh, Let's see if she'll go. The choke's not hooked up, just so you're aware. Okay. Maybe a little extended warm-up time. Yeah, yeah. It likes pumping. It likes that. They all do. <laughs> when the fuel evaporates, so you got to pump it up a bit. Yeah, yeah. Right? Manual fuel pump. Same as the Newport. Yeah, it usually takes about three of these. Yeah. There she goes. Yeah. Now we just give her some gas. There you go. There we go. Nice. Come on, baby. You show your viewers a little waggy hack here. Oh, yeah? <laughs> That's a non factory high idle. Oh, yeah. I've seen that uh, before. I think Al had a similar setup. Do you yeah. want to warm up for a minute? Hey, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. let it warm up a Let's bit. Let's let it warm uh, up a lot, because I'm kind of cold. Yeah. Arc lights on. Nice. Oh, you got the heat on? Off, but now we're kind of... Oh. <laughs> Don't forget to turn the fan up. Look at that. It's producing steam. <laughs> Harmless water vapor. Sounds good. Oh, yeah. Not a miss. Yeah, no one... Uh, Recent tune up. Yeah, I love it. Sweet, well, let's give her a few minutes. Yeah, yeah, we'll let it warm up a bit. Woo. Did you ever uh, pursue any VW? Oh, yeah, I got feelers out. So oh, good. Just, yeah, give it a clean her roof. Uh, yeah. Cut the windows out of it. 
Oh yeah, yeah. You got the rear hatch to open. Oh good. Yeah, no really. It's just uh, sticky. Need some progress. Yeah. Found some real cool memorabilia in it. Oh really? Oh yeah. Well, I thought you'd yeah. already. Because it done has all those all. Winchester yeah. like uh, badges. Yeah. So then it's got this cool authorized Remington dealer. This was crumpled up. It would have fallen yeah. off the back window. Yeah. And then authorized dealer for uh, what's this? Sill Sporting Arms. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh cool. So I'm pretty sure this is, must have been a. Uh, yeah, sales rep. Some sort of a sales rep bus or something. Yeah. And then there's uh, shell casings. Throughout. Uh, casings throughout. So yeah. Mm -hmm. And perhaps they took people out on little tours. Yeah. Who knows? Yeah. <laughs> the upholstery looks a lot like your bug. Oh yeah, yeah. No, they're uh, cut from the cl same cloth, so to yeah, speak. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, and, same uh, dials and all yeah, that. Yeah. So. Even the pleats and the seats look identical. Okay, I'm gonna drive the Jeep. Let's check it out. Oh, okay. Brush a little snow. Oh, it's so warm in here. Look at that. You guys may have noticed that I like this thing. I have to figure out some way to get Jim to sell me this. Here he comes. All right. Oh, yeah. Oh, sweet. Yeah, no decent heat. Uh, oh, the real might have, good heat. Might have noticed that it needs a valve cover gasket or two. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I thought that might be my new port. It <laughs> smells exactly the same. Where's the headlights? Oh, uh, right there. Yeah, it's like a weird flapping thing. You just gotta flap up. Here? No, up. Nope. Oh, shit. Ooh, is that working now? No oh, way. Oh, there we go. Wow. Cool. High beam, low beam, all the goodies, yeah. Yeah, the light for that thing isn't uh, working. Fine. So you gotta kind of count or guess or whatever. Are these. Uh, in four wheel drive all the time? Or? No, no, there's a little switch down there that you yeah. can uh, no, we don't need it. access. Curious. Yeah, if you do need. Yeah, you can loop around here. This is oh, yeah. loops, yeah. Have you been driving your Dodge yet? Oh, yeah, that's kind of the daily driver now. Oh, is it? Yeah. Yeah. Wow, these things are not really soft, are they? Oh, no. The ride is quite stiff. Well, it should uh, it'll mellow out a bit <laughs> as it warms up. Yeah, as you get going. How many trucks have you got? Oh, there's a few. The one's Dan's. It's on the, oh, that's on the, Dan's the repair right program. Here, yeah. The, uh, the old switcheroo the there. For him. That's what, I wonder where that one came from. That's actually a decent truck. Oh, it's a very nice truck. Yeah. Yeah, oh, what yeah watch out for that V8 power. You just, you won't oh, know what to do. Sure. Treat. And, uh... Yeah, we'll have you sold on this thing. You're going to take that old Lee car to the kidney f car that's thing, right, that's it, yeah. Foundation. Give you my $40 yeah. tax credit, I'm buying a wagon here. Well. Though the headlights suck, so you can, uh, I just run them on high beam all the time and nobody oh, really go. flashes nobody me. Cares, yeah. yeah. Then you actually keep an eye on the road. Notice it Minus it nine Celsius. I think I can even change that. Minus 15 Fahrenheit for your American friends. 15? Yeah, just at the Relatively. push of a button here, I can go back and forth. <laughs> 1990s technology, Minus 10 heading now. west. Yep. So this is an AMC engine. Stuff. Yeah, a 360. 360 which yeah, they built way back in the day, right? Oh yeah, this is, this the, is a uh, derivative of the 343. I think so. I think so too. Because that engine's been around since the 60s. Yeah, and it's got like a Ford 2100 carburetor on it, which yeah. is nice. And uh, it distributes at the front, which is really nice. Yeah. I think other uh, benefits of it. I think it's got a Chevy. Uh, turn signal stock thing. Yeah. Oh, What's this? Yeah. Some guy's garbage can? Oh, yeah, no ABS. That's all right. <laughs> I was looking at the instruments. <laughs> I saw that black thing there. I thought, uh, oh, uh, man. Yeah. It's not a bear or anything. Yeah, right. It's nice. It's quite quiet, though. Oh, it's, it's really great. quite nice, yeah. Yeah. Man, what a great machine. Well, I still maintain we're all fighting for second place, really. This is the very definition of what is a winter beater. Like, 
Yeah, warm, rusty, warm four by four <laughs> as good as it gets. Yeah, until you get into the mileage challenges. Well, that's this thing true. Oh, it has really lived up to its poor fuel mileage claims. Oh, has it? They yeah, yeah. It People are like, oh, you'll probably get about 10 miles to the gallon, and you probably get like 10 to 12. Yeah. Yeah, which I don't get. Like, why? The thing's not that big. It's not that heavy. It's got a two barrel carb. Yeah. Somewhere, a lot of fuel is just getting wasted. Well, let it warm up, too. Yeah, I guess so. Is this your turn here? Yeah. It's, uh, it's quite comfortable. Like oh, the, the seating seat position is really nice. The seats are nice, yeah. The They're like a very overstuffed. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's it power like too. A real car, yeah. <laughs> and then tiny little steering wheel. I don't know how, how I feel about that. It's too small. <laughs> you think? Yeah, yeah, I think so. It's pretty powered up. <laughs> it's not all over the place. Yeah, no, it drives pretty good. I think it's good. It's pretty neat actually. If you look at the odometer, you can see where they bumped it up to six digits because the sixth digit is a different font. Ooh, if a guy was gonna do some donut videos, he could come out here. Oh yeah, chalk some, some knots. Awesome. Well, I probably won't see it until after the holiday here, so. Oh, yeah, yeah, you got to view no. things on the go? or No, you no, fuck nothing. Oh, nothing. Okay. Nobody's doing nothing, so I'm just kind of open house. It's all warmed up. It's warm already, yeah, so all I gotta do is get gas. You can see the light came on there. <laughs> oh, yeah, we were only running for a couple of seconds. Yeah, yeah, right? Oh, Jesus, yeah. That was half a tank when we left. <laughs> <laughs> These things don't uh, fool around, eh? No, no, no. The, uh, Should yeah, these are going? Uh, no, you shut it off. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do here. Play put on some that. nicer clothes and yeah. Oh. Well, there you go. Well, I'm sold. Just let me know when you want to sell it. <laughs> I love it. Perfect. Oh, I love the handles too. Did oh, I lock right? myself in? Yeah, that door, it's got a saggy uh, lock thing. Okay, there so we go. Uh, if you hit a bump, it goes down. Yeah, the Fraser does that. It's not without deficiency, but... Uh, all right, thanks, man. Oh, yeah, you bet. <laughs> I'll uh, get out of your way. But, uh, yeah, say hi, Lindsay oh, and Lucy. Yeah. You guys yeah. stop in any time. All right. Okay. All right, that was very cool, Jim. Well, I better get back. we got lots of work to do. Thanks, Jim, buddy. That's a treat. We fixed a lot of stainless on this car. But I have to say, this is one of the repairs I'm looking forward to the very least. Uh, it doesn't look too bad, except that the way that it's damaged, it's not an easy one. So, getting the kink, getting the kink out of the bottom here won't be too bad. This is uh, passenger side, front fender, and then the back here joins to the chrome half moon thing. So, I'm going to... I'm gonna bang on this, I don't know, not optimistic, but it has this terrible kink in it that's just gonna look like shit to get that a little better. Bang, 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 bang. Saturday night, woo! You can see it has a pretty serious kink in it there that is never going to sit nicely against the fender. So, I don't know, I'm gonna try, but I'm not uh, getting my hopes up here. In this case, just to, to get the bulk of it out, first thing I'm going to do is unfold that final return there and use that to flatten this, uh, the flat, the uh, inside lip there. Once that's flattened, it's going to naturally want to force some of this kink out of it. So let's just start with that. It doesn't really matter what that looks like in there because it's all inside the wheel well. All you really see of this is this quarter inch on the outside. If I can get that kink out of it, Eh, the rest of it will probably get close enough. Anyway, let's start by flattening that. So, here's the uh, actual problem with this. See that lays flat pretty nice, and then you get to here, and it's just, it's all been pushed in. This whole edge is rolled in to where the angle between the face and the inside is 90 until you get to here. And then, you know, you can see it's it's more like 70 and then it kind of straightens out by the back again here. I've started on it and I'm getting I'm getting a little bit, but to get in there and try and roll that back out, I mean, I don't, 
I'm going to play with it, but this might be another one of those chuck it on and keep looking for a better one pieces because uh, uh, there's got to be a better one than this out there. Like this is, this is kind of junk. Well, I've been beating on this for quite a while. I don't know, probably at least an hour. Uh, oh, can we see anything? Getting a little better. Um, heck, let's see. Lays pretty flat now. There's the big kink. So that's largely gone. This is all hammer marked like crazy now. Right ahead of my thumb there, there's still a dent. It's kind of the last really obvious dent in it. It's not going to be great. I'm going to see what we can do to get that out of there. Where's my... I made this some time ago for problem... Something like this. I don't know. It was a trim situation. I don't know what this is. Uh, anyway, it's whatever. Well, we'll have to see if, we, if we're on it there. Yeah, I think I can get on it. I have to give her some taps. Well, that was mashed just about completely flat. So if we can salvage that at all, I will be happy. Like it had gotten bent around backwards or possibly smashed through something very square. I've gotten it as far as filing and starting the sanding, so I'm going to bring this up to 1000 grit and then we'll whip it next door and see how it looks after a little polish. This piece is one that I fitted at one time, I can see. The center line for the fastener seems to run midway through the uh, bottom plane of this trim. And so we've kind of uh, located our studs there, ours, to put these two pieces on maybe. By the time they're fixed and uh, polished and uh, clips made and installed and lining up and fitting with each other. Here I've got the wheel arch molding up as high as uh, 800 grit. You can see it's, she's a little worse for wear on the inside for sure. But the part that you see is actually not bad. So I'm going to hope with a little polishing and a little persuading to get this really, really bad molding on there that we can make it happen. Doesn't want to focus today. There, now we can sort of get a look at it there. I'm trying to find the big vertical line. There it is. So, uh, stupid thing won't go. That can go back on the car now. Uh, just nice to be picking away at these guys. Here's what we ended up with for that mangled wheel arch molding. So I uh, ended up getting it pretty close. It's uh, presentable enough to put on, but it is still, it's, uh, it's never going to be as good as a really nice one. So I'm going to keep my eyes open, but meanwhile, this will help me get the car finished. That's uh, two that I was not looking forward to. Uh, I didn't actually uh, film any roughing that eyebrow out because I didn't think I was going to use it. So but it ended up being the best one I had. Looks like me and Frankers are back on the upholstery job, eh? You don't care, do you? Hmm. Okay. okay. Well, I'm pretty happy with the bottom, so I thought let's start with the uh, passenger side backrest here. Uh, I've fixed all the springs and uh, tied them into the correct location so that this radius stays pretty constant, at least as, as close as we can get it. Um, decided in this case to use uh, some, some uh, light carpet uh, to, uh, to cover it and even out all the springs and provide a certain amount of uh, protection from pokey stuff. So, one thing I learned on the bench part is that uh, any uh, any shabbiness underneath actually uh, does show. So, uh, the trick now, this by the way was a very 
kind and generous donation from a local gentleman who had bought it and did not need it and dropped it off. Since I need a molded carpet for the floor, this is a perfect uh, construction material for this. I'm kind of curious to see how this goes, so there's the cover. I'll, uh, I might just throw it on loosely here and see what kind of situation we can expect with regard to where and how much padding we're going to have to put on. Okay, very first uh, attempt here. Not encouraging, not encouraging at all. Basically none of it uh, looks decent, so we have a long ways to go here. I, uh, I also see a, a sewing mistake in this corner, so this probably all has to get uh, deconstructed and re-sewn. I don't know what has happened. Looks like something has gotten sewn on the wrong side of something, so that's all got to come apart now. At least some of it. Up here, all looking uh, very jagged and shitty, so... I'm gonna pull this off and start fixing stuff here because this is not good. Well, we made it to attempt number two. I've uh, repaired all the fuck up in here, so that looks better. It looks like the needle nicked it there, but uh, that's not really a big deal. I'm not trying to make a showpiece here, but I do have a problem. This is where I quilted all this which I think looks cool, but it's making it very reluctant to lay down nice and it's leaving me with a lot of dead air in here. It means that I'm going to probably do either apply the foam to the inside of the cover and then try and fold it over onto there, which probably will suck, or kind of mark where the quilting is and kind of try to work around it on the frame. So that's a mild improvement anyhow. Off she goes and uh, we'll start thinking about foam and how we're going to get that applied here. All right, third uh, attempt here. Getting a little bit of success in this area. So I've got a piece of foam cut that just holds up this corner. Right now I'm leaving this with nothing behind it and I've got a piece of foam installed from here down. It's starting to feel a little bit more like a seat. Still a lot of wavy edges here, a lot of waviness here. You can see if you pull hard enough on it, that straightens out. But we'll uh, keep battling it here. I'm really not happy with how this is going, this little transition here. So what I'm going to try next, I'm going to foam this and here, I don't mind this, this is actually, if we can get the whole thing to look like this uh, with a little bit of stretching, if we can get everything to look roughly like that, we'll be doing a lot better. So, uh, but, you know, it's, uh, it's a lot less discouraging than the first throw. So, I'm going to peel it off again and uh, I think I'd like to put something on the side here. I have multiple types of foam of different densities. So this is the very high density upholstery foam. And what I see often is something like this kind of polyester stuff, teddy bear type of stuff. I'm probably going to put a layer of this over top of the high density and then slide the upholstery on and we'll see how that looks. And then we can use this, you can cut little chunks of this and kind of stuff it in the corners to to help it uh, maintain its shape, uh, as far as I know, which I don't know. So let's just uh, keep going. It will be most of a day on this one piece, but I don't care. I don't care if it takes two days. As long as I don't hate it when it's finished, good enough. Fit number three or four, I guess. Uh, I've made a little, bra or a little extra foam piece there to just help this hold the radius here it was getting a little dished in the middle and then it's making this difficult to pull tight. So I'm going to leave it like that. I've got high density foam to here and then I've got this kind of whatever this stuff is, polyester or something or other, pulled over top to kind of help the transition and that stuff also helps to keep everything looking reasonably tight. Something's underneath here. So, there. Just a remnant of sewing, I guess. Okay. Uh, yeah, 
So I guess I'm going to go with this stuff and I'm going to pre-stuff these shoulders here. It'd be nice if that wasn't so hollow in there. High density foam here and right there I'm leaving this here with just the, the fun stuff here. Uh, I'm going to put some of this down this side but nothing else. So starting to come along and when you pull it tight it straightens up pretty good but still giving a lot of trouble. All right well there's another uh, day whistling by on uh, attempt number four or five we, uh, we decided to leave it on. Do a lot of pulling to get that guy but finally Looking decent there. Um, any difficulty I, I've had with this backrest is because I decided to get cute here. <clears throat> if I had just left this as flat vinyl, I wouldn't have had really any problems at all. But uh, whatever. I still think it looks cool. Several hours of stuffing and pulling and stretching uh, and re sewing a few spots. This is where the hinge is, somewhere in here. Right there, so you don't really see this folds up against the other side. So I'm a little less concerned. A little bit of the bagginess here is not ever going to be seen. So mostly just wanted this to lay flat, and this to lay flat, and those damn diamond pleats to lay flat, and it all seems to be looking pretty decent. So I'm going to leave it there. Um, I haven't completely finished buttoning up the seam at the bottom yet in case I decide after fitting it up that I need to pull it uh, one way or another. Just happy that's over with. That uh, it's pretty nerve-wracking and uh, uh, it's taking a long time. I uh, really pretty still I'm, I'm still very excited to see this come together and uh, I think as a as a first attempt, I don't think I'm going to hate it. There's a, certainly a lot that I'm learning here, and uh, having a lot of fun with it, really. Are you bored? I'm sorry. I give you lots of snacks today. Okay, you go back to bed then. Okay, well, I'm on to the driver's side backrest now. Frankers and I are out having a walk, and we just wanted to say Merry Christmas to everybody, and Happy New Year. Well, we'll probably have one video before the New Year, but uh, Frankers and I are going to take the R5 around the block. Uh, I mean, at least I hope we get around the block, and uh, see if it's any better with the uh, brakes adjusted, and uh, I forget whatever else was wrong with it. Oh, the transmission mount's fixed. Uh, yeah, let's try it out. Sorry about the camera work as usual. Crap. First impression is that it's a lot quieter with the clunking gone. The, uh, the transmission mount and the tailgate being open were making a lot of racket. So that seems to be fixed. So that's good. Not gonna go very far. Oh, 
Bowfingers, it's Christmas time. Hey, we can go for a drive at least. This is the uh, this is our version of a sleigh ride with Frankers. Except there's not much of a sleigh. It's not even a sled, Frankers. Woohoo! This is a fun corner, hey? The Renault seems to handle the snow just fine. These are not snow specific tires on the car. I don't see any warning lights coming on, so that's good. And I was a little worried about the cooling system last time, but it seems to be behaving itself just fine. So, what else do we know? Let's try some stuff. Oh yeah. I'll turn the fan off because of the noise. He even has a little bit of pickup. Hard not to smile driving this car. Sometimes, sometimes it's hard to smile, but not right now. A little downshift for the rapid corner here. Hold on, Minnie. Hold on. Whoa, we got her going, eh? Oh, this thing's a boot pack. This is great, I have to say. Jim's winter beater is a better actual winter beater, but I think this is more fun. What a hoot! <laughs> oh, this thing's gonna be so fun. Frankers, you wanna do some e-brake turns? Hey, hold on, Frankers. Oh, and another camera gone. Shit. Okay, well, the good news is the e-brake turns are a success. Bad news is it's cameras. Oh no. Let's have a look under the hood. But uh how do you open these stupid things? What? Actually, I do smell a tiny bit of antifreeze, so I'm gonna have to see what's going on there. Hmm. Well, let's hope that that's just a loose clamp there, because that's no good. Same old shit.
Merry Christmas to all. And to all. <laughs> it's so wetty, man. I love it. Okay.